Hey guys, Rani here. Welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to uh, be answering one of the questions I received in the group. Uh, this is a question from Biraj and Biraj is asking how to give a blur shadow effect for shapes like rectangle in Canva. So I'm going to answer that question, but before I do, I want to let you know that this is going to be a Canva for work tutorial because in order to achieve this effect, in order to uh, give a blur shadow effect to shapes, you will need Canva for work or at least for um, the solution I'm bringing here. There, there is, there could be an alternative uh, solution, but it won't be as precise or as custom as uh, what, I want to, what I want to show you in this tutorial, which is the proper way to do it. And in order to do it, you need to be using Canva for work. So let me show you, let, let's head over to Canva. This is a document doesn't matter the size in this uh, in this situation. What I'm going to do is create a rectangle. So let me just type R on my keyboard, create a rectangle, make it nice, center it in the middle of the page. And then I'm going to give this some color. Let's say this uh, purple. Okay, it's a nice purple. Okay, so this is my rectangle. So what Biraj is saying, how can we give a blur shadow effect to this? So how can we blur this shape? Uh, actually, there's no options in Canva to blur a simple shape. You do have options to blur a photo, for, for example. So let me take a photo, whatever photo will do. I take this photo, I have some effects. I have like the filter, adjust, crop, etc. So in the adjust settings, I can go to blur and I can add some blur to blur this photo, right? And I cannot do that with shape. There's no options popping out here. So the way to do this is um, first you have to determine which color of the shape you want. So let's say I actually want the same color, but a little bit darker. So let's say I want to create like a kind of a, the standard shade, I would say are usually in the darker color, like dark gray or some, something like that. So I'm going to um, change the color of this rectangle for this color right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to download this, uh, this design in the PNG format with a transparent background. And this is where you need Canva for work, guys, because in the free version of Canva, you won't have this feature, which is actually called transparent background. So if you go into Canva for work apps, this is this app right here that says uh, transparent background. So you can export anything really in Canva without a background or with a transparent background. So going back to my um, export settings here, I make sure I'm in PNG format. So that's good. And then uh, transparent background. And then I just need to export page number five. So I'll just go click on five, done and download. So this is going to download my dark gray rectangle. And there it is. I'm going to save this to my desktop and rename this uh, rectangle, okay? So now what I can do is go grab this rectangle, which is here, put this into Canva like this, and I can switch back to my uh, purple color that I liked, right? And then I'm going to make sure I'm on the right page and then import my uh, dark gray rectangle. You will see that Canva doesn't put it full screen so you will have to adjust that by like snapping this visual into one of the corners and then take the other corner and drag it to make it exactly the, the same size as your original rectangle. And now I'm going to push it back by using the position button backwards. So now you can see my purple rectangle, but underneath, and if I'm moving with my uh, keyboard arrows, you can see the other rectangle right there. So what I'm going to do is position it in such a way that give give some distance, create some distance between the purple and the, the dark gray rectangle with my keyboard arrows. And now with this uh, dark rectangle selected, I do have access to my um, options right here to modify this shape. And so I do have the blur option and this is how you do this guys by simply adjusting uh, the blur slider right here. I can go like 40 and this gives me a nice smooth 
uh, shadow and this is how you can blur shapes and this works with any shape really the only requisite the only prerequisite to doing such uh, manipulation is that you do have canva for work so uh, i hope this answers your questions biraj i hope you are a canva for work user otherwise this is not going to work the alternative that i was talking about would be to find a rectangle on google uh, or whatever like stock images you are you are searching for but just find a plain shape and import that into canva if it doesn't have a background so let me see if I can do this. Uh, but then you don't have all the control over the color, over the size, over the shapes that you want to import. But I guess for rectangle, it could work. So if I search for a black rectangle uh, in the PNG format, maybe I f I'm lucky and I find stuff. Uh, let me see. So this one looks kind of the one I was using, but it doesn't have a uh, transparent background so this could be a little bit tricky but this could work i mean if you are a patient and you know where to search for you could find uh, this kind of shapes but definitely not going to work for any shapes and for all the shapes that you want to create with canva so this is how you do it guys i hope the tutorial was useful if it was you can give it a like you can share it with your friend or tag somebody who might be interested in this technique and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Hey, do you want to learn how to use Canva like a pro? Well, I can certainly help you with that and teach you all of my secrets. I have put together a five hour master course about Canva that will take you from zero to Picasso in only one day. If you like that idea, make sure you click on the first link in the description below to get your discounted coupon.